what's up guys so in today's video um i was going for something completely different but i guess that happens with me with like everything i do so um but if you do want to see how i got this kind of orangey golden kind of look then just keep on watching so i had like a little devil headband on because i was going for i was literally gonna film a um, devil makeup tutorial but it, li it literally went like in every other direction so i just ended up doing something completely different so as you can see here i'm showing you what i was going for i'm so gross but um yeah i wanted to do like an all red eye look but it was just ugly you know so see even here i knew i was gonna fuck up so i went for something different but it's cool because it came out okay i guess but yeah, so I'm starting off with my moisturizer, my Clinique Dramatically Different Gel Moisturizer. I love this stuff. It's so bomb. It's not like greasy or anything. I wear it like every day. So when you put it on, you just want to like stretch out your whole face like I'm doing here. Be really dramatic with it. <laughs> so yeah, I'm just putting that on here. And then... Oh my god, I was like trying to be fancy. I like tried this primer I've never tried before. I don't know the name of it. I will put it down below for you. I think it's like Dr. Brands or something. But yeah, sorry I haven't posted. I know nobody literally cares, but um, all my stuff got hacked. So that's the reason. And I just got them back. Okay, so I'm going with my Maybelline Superstay. This color is way too light for me, but, um, I mean, it's not that light for me, but it's a little bit too light for me, but I use it anyway because, yeah, I do what I want. But yeah, so, like, all my stuff got hacked and, like, literally my, it doesn't matter, okay, but anyways, I got it back, like, a few days ago or, like, a week ago, but I've just been not been motivated to, like, do anything, so yeah. Even though no one cares. So yeah, I'm just going with that foundation all over my face. Bringing it down my neck. It looks a lot, lot lighter than it really is. But like, in person, it's not this much lighter. So I'm going in my Sonia Cash Expunge. Just to perfect it. I like to go in with a brush and then a sponge, as you guys know. You know. Just to like make it look flawless, because... With just one or the other, I don't like it. So now I'm going in with my LA Girl Pro Concealer. Oldie but a goodie. Y'all already know what's up. And yeah, so I, I actually put it on my lid too as a primer. These days I don't really use a primer, but if I'm feeling like extra greasy, then I'll go in with like my MAC um, Soft Ochre Paint Pot. But, like, when you're on the go, it's, like, too much work, you know? So. And then I'm going back in with that sponge to just perfect that even more. Around my mouth, because I get, like, ugly smile lines. And I'm just going in with my Kat Von D Shade and Light palette. And I'm setting my under eyes with that. And my lids. I like the colors in this palette, because they're really brightening. Even though I don't need to get any brighter, my face is already super light. But it's also because the foundation has flashback, unfortunately. So, like, with the lights, it looks a lot lighter than it is in person. And then for my whole face, I go in with RCMA No Color Powder. Oh my god, I'm going too fast. Okay, so for my eyebrows, I go in with the Dip Brow. And I'm being fancy because um, my Dip Brow is dry, but I refuse to buy another one, so... I'm going in with my um, Inglot Duraline. I go in with that and it like makes it brand new. So that's what I do. It's my secret. I've also heard that like you could put oil. And I have used oil before to like um, revive my dip brow. And it really works. It does a good job. Because like why would we purchase one when you have a perfectly good one? It just needs a little help, you know? So now I'm going to contour with the cooler shade from the shade and light. 
and since here I was doing like a Halloween look, even though I'm not, um, oh my gosh, I have my chokers all messed up. Girl, get yourself together. <sighs> but yeah, so I went in with like a harsh contour, but it didn't end up looking too bad. But first I'm going with like the cooler color. <laughs> I was like, dude, I put too much. In person it was like so much darker and then look at there, yeah. See? I was like, how am I going to get out of this one? I don't know. I just went in with a clean brush. I think that helped a little bit. Just kind of blend it out so it wasn't so harsh. See, it kind of looks better. Looks a little better. And then I'm like cutting my contour as well. Using like an e.l.f. Um, a flat brush. It's like $3. Pretty bomb. E.l.f. comes in clutch, honestly. Oh my gosh, poor me. My choker's all messed up. I think I ended up taking that one off because I didn't like how it looked. But, <laughs> so it looks like I fixed it. And then here I'm going to start my eyeshadow going with the Anastasia Soft Glam. I love this palette. It's so bomb. It has like every color you can need for every day. And I'm going in with um, Burnt Orange in the crease. Which isn't end up, which doesn't end up being dark enough for the look I was going for, but it's cool because I'm not a makeup artist. I was doing this for fun, to be honest. So yeah, taking that on both sides into the crease, and I had to cut out so much of this footage because I blend for like 25 minutes. I'm not even kidding. And then I take it under my eyes as well. Okay, so what had happened here was I took this orange color from this um, Juvia's Place palette and I had wet my brush and I put it all over my lid and I hated how it looked. So, I'm taking the dark color from the Soft Glam palette, like the dark red, and I just went over top of that because I hated how the orange looked. But since I had wet my brush with that orange color, it was like so hard to blend out. I regretted it afterwards. Honestly, this look is like a total failure, but kind of looks cute at the end, so I was like, why not? So this is me after blending like 35 minutes, no joke. It took me so long to like blend out my eye and it still looks like trash. <laughs> and then I didn't know I was going to do this, so I would have like, if I was smart, I would have done like a halo eye and like left the middle of my lid bare but I didn't and I just went in with that gold color on top and to make it pop like even more I sprayed my brush and then I got hella fallout so I brushed that off so yeah see I'm spraying it to put the gold to make it like a little bit brighter you can see it like bam she pop in a little bit and then I go back in with my face I'm using the balm beach blush trio it's so cute i love this little trio i got it at like gen beauty two years ago because i think now two years ago or a year ago i don't know i'm just going with a clean luxie brush to blend out um my crease it looks better in person well i thought it did it doesn't look as good on camera but it's cool and then i'm going in with this little mini palette honestly this little um duo thing is so underrated i mean i think it's discontinued anyway but it's the color pop and alexis ren blush and highlight this highlight is so poppin like you'll see at the end of the video um i don't know why i go on my chin with highlight i literally never do that i was trying to be like a youtuber and then I'm going with my Ardell Faux Mink and some Irrelevant Mascara that I just got in my BoxyCharm. Not really that good, but I just put it on so that there's something there for when I put my lashes. And then here I think I have lashes on. Oh my gosh, and then I got freaking mascara on my nose. Like a big old glob too. But yeah, if that ever happens, just wait till it dries and then um, scratch it off. So I'm going in with a nude lip because I didn't really want to like counter the eyes too much. So as I mentioned in my favorites video, this combo, I'm going with an Italia lip liner in um, natural. 
it's so good you guys um it's a wooden liner it's like a dollar two dollars depending on like which beauty store you go to but um it's creamy it lasts like all day long like i'll go to work with this lip on and i'll leave work with this lip still on unless i eat then like maybe i'll have to reapply but mac lipsticks too they like come in clutch they stay on forever even though they're not even like liquid lipsticks so yeah see i'm scratching off the mascara and it's still there but whatever still cute though <laughs> So then just on top of that, I wanted like a little something more, you know, so I went in with the um, Kylie Gloss and literally or like, I don't know, I forgot which, I, whatever I had just put, that's the one it was. And yeah, it's so cute. I love that. Even though I have no lips, it like kind of made me look like I have lips. I should have overlined them. I don't know why I didn't. But yeah, this is the final look, you guys. I you know i don't know i don't look very cute but it's whatever i'm setting my face with um this like mattifying charcoal spray that i got at tj maxx i'm trying it out not too bad but yeah and like you'll see that highlight it's like blinding in a second like whew. i couldn't get like good footage of me like with this makeup but you can kind of see it here but like when i look at the camera I look cross-eyed, so I decided to take it out. I'm sorry, guys, but I can't take myself seriously. Thank you for watching.